last of them. We secured all the islands. Thanks for your help, Lieutenant. You've definitely earned your leave, Parker. As soon as we mop up, go home to Seattle. I'll see you in Fort Bragg in a week. And Bannon! Yes, Colonel? You! You're going to Seattle, too. Transferred to the 5th Supply Battalion there. With a little luck, I'll never have to see your face again. Eagle Six out. After the beep, we'll get back to you. Hey, Mom, it's Mark. I just thought I'd call to let you know I'm all right, but uh, I guess you're out, so. We've been fighting in the mountains for a while now. It's cold, almost as cold as it was in Russia. Food's scarce, too. Funny thing, you wouldn't think food would be a problem when you're fighting in your own country, but there aren't many stores around here, and most of them have been looted clean. Anyway. We're holed up in a small town called Cascade Falls, and it looks like there's going to be a big battle tomorrow. Commies are coming at us with everything they got, and we can't let them through, because if we do, it'll all be over. I wish I could explain, but it's kind of a secret. I'm going to do good tomorrow, though. God knows I've screwed things up before, and probably should have stayed out of the army in the first place instead of signing up because of what I thought Dad would think. Well, that doesn't really matter now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do good. No matter what it takes. Take care, okay? Bye, Mom. I love you. As the mushroom cloud above Cascade Falls slowly dissipated behind us, we fought on in a blasted wasteland with trees singed black by the wave of searing heat. But at least we were alive. Bannon and the men in his company were not. Their sacrifice had been the key to stopping the Russians and now Fort Teller was safe. We had to destroy the town in order to save it. But back then I think the irony of that was lost upon us. The EMP from the nuclear blast had effectively silenced the radios, and what was left of our battalion was scattered over the surrounding countryside. We lost contact with the colonel early on. It soon became every man for himself as we tried to get reorganized and fight off Russian stragglers at the same time. The blast had been more powerful than anyone could have imagined. We thought the worst thing that could possibly have happened just had. Little did we know what was to come. Alpha 6 to Bravo 6. Webb to Parker. Come in. If you're getting this, I want you to rendezvous with me at the Ford by the old mill. Gather your people and get over here. And Parker, watch out for any Russian stragglers. They're scattered all over the place and they'd love to ambush you.
hear about the sixth fleet in the Mediterranean? Yeah, poor souls. They say drowning is the worst way to die. Quietly on the wall. Good to see you, Parker. Most of my radios have broken down and I wasn't sure I was getting through. I see you bought some repair vehicles as well. Those are a godsend. See what you can do to patch up my vehicles. I wonder what went on in Bannon's head, you know, before he made his decision to sacrifice himself. And all those who went with him, heroes in my book. I hope we will never be forced to use them in day. One time is once too many. We need to gather what troops we can find and then re-establish contact with the Colonel. I haven't been able to reach him since we split up. We're moving south. Do what you can to keep us all in good repair. And try to avoid the enemy. Your vehicles won't last long in a firefight. By the way, we did well at Cascade Falls, Parker. Too bad we lost Bannon and Charlie Cup. Guess he turned out all right in the end. Wonder how things are going in Seattle. And with the war, for that matter, I haven't heard any real news in weeks. Europe might be totally overrun by now, for all we know. Infantry transport ready. Tracks are moving. Driving two coordinates. Friendly APC moving out. More Russian. Stay low and take them out. Yes, sir. APC moving out. Moving as ordered. Stay together and put some fire on those targets, people. Contact north and south. All units, open fire. We'll handle it, Parker. Just make sure my tanks stay functional. Persistent bastards, aren't they? You gotta respect their tenacity. Drop the nuclear bomb on them. Bradley APC, move driving two coordinates. What now, sir? All right, let's get a fixed Repair up. vehicle here. Spinning those tracks. Mechanics are on the way. We support rolling into combat. Rolling out. Clear out those Russians. Flag them, damn it! Fire and maneuver, people! Fire and maneuver! Waiting to move the vehicle! Oh, no. Hurry up! We need more! All right, let's get it fixed up! Bradley here, sir! Pop me a smoke screen! Repair vehicle! Repairing our vehicle in combat! Armor's ready to go! Soldier down! Mechanics are on the way! We're supporting the troops! Firing at hostiles! Damn lucky you found that recovery vehicle, Parker. I don't know what we'd do without you. Those 
Russians. Yes, sir. Armor. Let's fix him up. Field repairs on the way, Recovery sir. Recovery vehicle here, sir. Let's fix him up right now. Stop fooling around and see to those repairs, Parker. We don't want to stay here any longer than necessary. Commencing repairs. Repair vehicle available. Field repairs on the way, I sir. I didn't know you could read Cyrillic, Parker. Or maybe you just have a way with machines. Impressive either way. Recovery vehicle. My scout spotted some abandoned Russian vehicles not far from here, Parker. Should be some artillery and a repair vehicle. Locate them and see if you can get them running again. But leave someone behind to keep up with the repairs here. Bradley APC here, sir. Try yes, sir. We're moving. moving as we are ready to rumble, sir. Recovery vehicle heading out, sir. and take command. Sir. 